Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dora of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post some videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So today's video, as you can see, is a planner video. Yes, planner videos. I actually miss doing these. I used to do them on my beauty channel, then I used to do them on my blog channel. I did a couple here on this channel, but um, I haven't done one in a long time. And I'm going to be planning today um also my faith planner as well but that'll probably be in a separate video but i want to talk about planning for the year of 2021 because i have completely slacked off with planning as of last year we all know 2020 was insane and so i was initially using this walmart pen and gear traveler's notebook planner now let me just give you a history of my planning days i've been through um, Aaron Condren planners. I've had happy planners. I'd had day designer planners. I've gone through um, a color crush planner. Um, I've had various brands of planners, um, high end, low end, expensive, inexpensive, hourly, weekly, verticals, any layout, you name it, I've had it. And um, they all worked well for me in the particular seasons that I was in. Um, however, I ended up switching to the pen and gear one because it was it worked well for me. Um, you can buy the notebooks at walmart the staples also has their own but i've had this set up now for the past year i've used this setup for the year um and let me just show you here is what a monthly looks like um so the months are blank so it comes with a bunch of blank months which i mean you could use this for several years okay i'm not gonna throw this out i'm definitely going to keep it but um the last time I used it was October. I didn't even decorate for November. So I haven't used it in November or December. But here are some of those from 2019, I think. Yeah, August 2019, September, October, November, December. And then I started again in 2020, as you can see, up until October. So I did use the monthly layouts. And then they had uh, other layouts like this. This is the weekly. They have another weekly layout that's more vertical. Um, they have hourly layouts. They have to-do lists. But these were the ones that I kept. And here's the last time I used it. Um, as much as I love this, with 2020 being the way it was and me not really staying on top of organizing. And because 2021 has so much in store for me, I have to switch how I'm planning and stuff. So I have this planner, which I did get from Walmart as well. This, I don't even know the brand of this planner, honestly it's a walmart planner that i mean that's all i can tell you guys and let me just flip to um february so this is how it comes so you get this dashboard here which says plan on it the year dream on it to-do list and notes and then it has a small mini calendar here you flip on the tab and you go to your calendar on two pages with note section here blank space down here and then you go into your weeklies which has checklists which works for me i use this specifically for church so anything having to do with church events coming up if i have to make sure that my pastor or my bishop has to have something done if they have to speak um for an engagement or another ministry if we have anything planned bible studies rehearsals whatever the case all of that goes into here i'm not going to show that obviously because it's private information um can i show the january i don't think i fully filled out i can show you guys january so i didn't fill out january at all i just put some things on here um i have to update this of course but i keep it real simple i don't go all out it's pretty much pen and paper that's it no decorating or anything like that so this is specifically my church administration calendar um so that's what this is and it says this is your day again there's no brand so i'm assuming this is just a strict walmart brand planner okay but we went to Target because I found out that Target is literally right behind Barnes and Nobles and Five Below, which we've been going to for over a year. Um, and so I decided that I needed to go back to using, I don't know what this is on here, but that's making that. But I decided I needed to go back to using a classic planner that's already set up for me because I just, it's too much for this year. And I'm used to day designer planners. Um, so I said I wanted to go back to a day designer um, but day designers are expensive. They're very expensive. So I decided that I wanted to go back to the Blue Sky for day designer. Now, Blue Sky is one of those planners you can find anywhere that you find when you're um, starting school or whatnot. But they have a lower end version of the day designer that specifically works with the Blue Sky. Now, the day designer, normally I get a daily planner. But I knew that I didn't want a daily planner with like hourly slots. I just, I can't. It's too much. I probably should have considering with um, school being virtual and things like that. 
but I saw these three planners and I could not stop myself from getting them so all three of these are I believe these two are blue sky and no this is blue sky so this one here is strictly a blue sky planner so what I did was I needed a large desk planner that was strictly monthly and I saw this this is literally the only one it was black and white so it has that black with the white polka dots um it's 2021 it's supposed to be like gold foiling I don't know how well that's picking up but um as you can see it says planning calendar for 2021 January to December monthly so it includes monthly calendars reference calendars and notes and it's by cupcakes and cashmere for blue sky so blue sky is the company name but within blue sky sorry if you guys hear all that noise within blue sky they have several different um mini brands so you have the day designer for blue sky the cupcakes and cashmere for blue um for blue sky and it's kind of like how i don't know if you guys know um the designer christian seriano um how he had his sh shoes and payless he is a high-end designer but he made lower-end shoes for payless it's kind of like that kind of thing but um i like this it is pretty much a basic kind of um so you open it up you have your yearly overview for 2021 and 2022 you have who this planner belongs to your information goes here your yearly goals can go here which i think is great um i would separate it with washi tape of course you have a context section which you have your name and details which i would only put important numbers in here um then you have important dates for the year that you can quickly look at so i don't think i would input birthdays i would probably put like if there's bills due and things like that and then you strictly go into your two page layout for your monthly which is extremely large i'm not sure if i want to decorate this or not because i really just need this to see things immediately and this will be heavily color coded because this will be an easier view of what i'm going to put into my other planners but um you have january 2021 your sunday through saturday and i'm a sunday through saturday start kind of girl especially in planners i feel like the week begins on monday but on calendar form it has to have a sunday start that's just how my mind operates um you have this note section which is blank i love that then you have the two calendars previous and the next month which is great it already has important dates so obviously today is new year's day um it's currently about what time is it it is 10 52 at night that i'm making this video i have not planned so i will be doing that um it has your important date so here's february march and it literally is just your months all the way to december and i like how like sleek and um simple it is so here's december 2021 um it will give you january for the next year you have your two notes pages here and then one more and it closes out like that on the back it says cupcakes and cashmere for blue sky it's really simple and sleek i like that so we have this as like my main desk calendar i just need to wipe this down with alcohol a little bit but we have that then i saw this one so this was the first one i actually saw at um target and i don't have my target receipt so i cannot even tell you guys how much it is but i'm pretty sure they're less than 15 dollars. i believe this was less than 12 don't quote me on that though i'll try to find it and leave a link down below but um this was the first one i saw and it was really nice i like the sort of muted blush with the gold it's really simple normally i like a lot of gold foiling on my cover but um they were literally running low on planners and the ones that they did have i just didn't care for so i took this one but um this one is the every girl for day designer so this one is specifically made from day designer it is not the day designer for blue sky which is definitely different i will leave a link to both so you guys can see what i'm talking about just click the links down below you'll get the blue sky day designer link and then you'll get the actual link for day designer um and i only know that because on here it actually says day designer whereas this one says um blue sky so i don't i don't really know honestly i'm not even gonna try to tell you that i do but i do know but yeah so um you open it up um first of all on the front I forgot to tell you so it's the every girl line of the day designer it is their weekly monthly because they do have daily hourly schedules um planners um planning calendar for december january 20 21 excuse me to december 2021 um includes tab monthly calendars weekly calendar reference calendars snap and bookmarks storage packets stickers and notes which i definitely needed it to um have that storage pocket in there so this is a very large size okay it's more like your normal size hopefully this is not slanted i can't really tell but you have this like laminated card stock i don't even know it's really nice but here is the today bookmark if i can snap it out so 
it's just a regular it's dusty oh okay maybe it's not dusty maybe it's just the grease on my hands okay <laughs> but um it's a seven inch ruler i guess seven inches i don't know um but it says today on it and it just says every girl for day designer at the bottom left what you're gonna be able to see that you have two pages of sticky notes same thing um i think this is weird but okay it says bill do call follow up you have some um envelopes paw prints hearts doctor appointments appointments asap some checks some finance check-ins arrows today's to do remember to vote some candles exclamation points out of office wish list um some asterisks some stars some rent dues this says boob check i really don't understand the point of putting boob check i i would layer this with another sticker so like i would use another sticker from another like a uh, sticker kit that i have and put it over the boob it, it just i don't understand so therapy i like that they have therapy because some people do want therapy stickers self-care great that definitely for me because i'm really being intentional about my getting back into self-care this year um then it says payday clean out inbox which my goal for 2021 is to make sure that my emails stay under 50 unread because right now my main email has literally 8,000 plus unread emails. My DOI email is getting out of hand. So I like that this says clean, in, uh, clean out inbox and you just get two sheets of the same stickers. Here is that pocket folder. I wish it was laminated. It is double sided. So you have here and here. So you would have to be careful with that. So you have the personal information here, your name, your email, your home, your office, yourself. Um, I would probably just put my name and my email. I wouldn't put my phone number in there just because, um, but this wouldn't go anywhere with me. This would stay home. So you have your yearly overview, obviously for 2021 and 2022. I like that they give you that next year for looking ahead. I like to just mark birthdays with highlighters. Um, it tells you about the every girl planner for day designer. Um, so yep. Co-founders and business partners are, I think it's Aliana and Danielle who met in a coffee shop, met up for coffee in 20, uh, 2010. Um, February 2012 the every girl was born and yeah that's pretty it, it gives you information which I'll look at obviously down the line um, but this is why I like the day designer planner specifically because they give you these goal setting sheets which I really enjoyed when I was using the hourly planner so over here on this side it tells you exactly how to use the planner so you have your goals your action steps your keeping balance it tells you every bit of piece of it um, as you can see the inside is more of your muted blushes pink colors which i like um, i'm fine with those colors um so this is my goals for the year so you have a section for career finances physical health organization mental health digital wellness which i think is great um especially in this day and age when everything is digital you might want to be mindful of your wellness with that um hobbies your style your home your intellectual growth relationships and self-care and I, I i love that that's there okay um i normally don't see anything having to do with your mental health or your hobbies or your digital wellness, intellectual growth, um, or with self-care and planners, especially with style. I think that that's great that they put that in there. Um, on the next page, you then have the same boxes again, but it's asking you how you can be intentional in those um, goals. So say if my goal uh, for physical health is to work out more, what is my intentional goal? Is it to work out two times a week, three times a week, things like that, self-care, I want to do more spa weekend so my intention is to do face shoes i want to make sure that i'm doing a face shoe twice um every two months every two weeks excuse me um bubble baths i want to make sure i'm doing like i would write down specifically how i can achieve those goals from the um previous page so it says my goals for the year and then my goals action steps then you have keeping balance so this would be where you put down your daily routines your weekly routines your monthly they say rituals but your monthly routines um your annual annual actions that you want to make sure that you're doing so um i like that that's there of course check box check boxes if you need and then you have your bucket list for the year which i would probably just put some things that i want to obtain some goals and things like that that i want to accomplish like for me i definitely want to get my permit and try to at least my permit um, before June fingers crossed we can work that out and then I at least want to get if I get my permit in June I definitely want to get my license by the end of the year I'm going on 30 literally in a couple months <laughs> six months to be exact I'll be 30 so that's definitely one of my goals high priority um, and then you go into your uh, 
monthly weekly setup so on each one there is a quote so this one is by Anne Lamott I don't know who this is but almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes including you which I think is beautiful um, laminated tabs you go strict straight into your monthly setup um, so you have your notes and to do section here your before and after um, months and then your two page calendar view which obviously today is New Year's Day um, MLK I just don't like that they have lines I don't I don't like when my monthlies have lines like I would prefer it to not have lines but I like that it's not super dark and it's dots so I can still put my stickers and things like that on this if I want if I wanted to then you go into your weekly setup which I like because you have the today section and your to do section so say if there is something important that i need to do like my top five for the day my top three or whatever i can put on this side and then i can mark up anything else like meetings at what time they need to be done if my son has a project that needs to be due in that day i can put those there and keep my to-do list blank for the day um it says weekly tip at the top so you have obviously december 2020 and january 2021 because they go into so friday is today um your saturday and sunday is combined which i don't mind i don't do much on saturday and sunday anyway so saturdays are my sabbath and i'll do a, i mentioned before i'll do a video on that but um my sabbaths are on saturday sunday is church so ain't nothing to do that day anyway <laughs> unless it's like an event or something pretty much um so let's just skip ahead here so i like the setup it's big enough for me to write in it um it's big enough for me to add stickers if i want to and um yeah, I just needed something functional that I knew that I would use. So that's that. Um, come on, come on. So you get to the end of the month. And then you have a monthly review, a look back. So you can look back at your month about your personal wins for the month. Your goals that you met for the month. Um, who you connected with. Any key purchases that you made, what you're grateful for for that month, what you'll remember for that month, um, ways that you took care of yourself, so self care, and then what I learned from that month. And um, some of these I might cover up, like key purchases made, I might cover that up, and then connect it with I might cover that up because I could always put like my favorite books from the month if I need to, or favorite songs or something like that. So that's that. So then you go into your next month with obviously your quote, which is Jane Goodall. I don't know what that who that is, but um, it says what you do makes a difference, and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make i love the font it's very girly it's very simplistic and that's what i really wanted um in the same kind of view so again you get that weekly tip at the beginning of every week so this one says make a to-do list each day and prioritize which is what that does um this one is reflect each month on what's not working and how to improve obviously you have that week in review to look back at which i think is great so i i just like that it's simple yet functional and girly so you have one for Maya Angelou nothing will work unless you do for March April Coco Chanel simplicity is the key note of all true elegance Catherine Hepburn which is if you obey all the rules you miss all the fun sorry guys Margaret Atwood who's an author I know about her um, if I waited for perfection I would never write a word that is ooh, amazing especially since I'm working on writing um, books and things like that so that's awesome Toni Morrison know who she is you are the best thing we love it we love to see it and I like that they're including um quotes from women of color okay I love that Estee Lauder we love Estee Lauder I worked with Estee Lauder before at Mac um not at, Mac, at Macy's um I didn't get there by wishing for it or hoping for it but by working for it Erica Jong if you don't risk anything you risk even more unknown it is never too late to be who you might have been mary oliver i believe in kindness also in mischief and then the last one here is by mindy culling um sometimes you just have to put on lip gloss and pretend to be psyched that is funny okay and then that is all the months and then you have the resources tab which is from gabby douglas we know who gabby douglas is all right come on now um don't be afraid to speak up for yourself keep fighting for your dreams again the font is just really calling out to me i would have loved it more if the font was foiled but that's just me um so your resources again um how to research your personal goals so they give you 11 steps to doing that and some space to write um and i like that strategies to reduce stress and live better so they give you 11 tips for that and then a place to write notes so you can probably write your own um things here this is eight easy self-care habits so 
talk to a loved one, try a workout challenge, compliment, make a list, write, craft, paint, wake up early, say no, mean it. Um, six easy ways to get unstuck. Five daily habits for more energy, which drinking water and moving my body, I need to do. I also need to get back into stretching, so, and I don't get seven to nine hours of sleep. <laughs> more like five, four, three hours. Am I the only one? Um, and then, I don't know what this is on my plan, but get off. Thank you. Um, four ways to be mindful every day. Space to write. Um, 24 ways to be kind to yourself. I like that. Um, it says, are there any, any other mantras or affirmations? I don't really like the word mantra just because it sounds new age-ish to me. That's just me. But um, I would probably write some scriptures here for myself personally. And then you have notes pages here. So a couple of pages for notes about six pages two four yeah six pages for notes and then you have your holidays that go from 2021 to 2024 and then that is the end on the back you have the states and capitals which i think is nice i haven't seen something like this in a planner in a long time so that's nice um so we have this large one and so i also let me snap this back in the planner real quick because I knew that I wanted something that I could keep home, I also needed something that I could have on the go in my purse that wouldn't take up space. Because I'm also trying to be mindful this year about how much stuff I put into my purse. And so I got a smaller version of the same planner. However, they didn't have it in the same color. They had it in this green and I figured why not. So I have the same planner, literally the Every Girl for Day Designer weekly monthly planning calendar. Same things, tab, monthly uh, calendars weekly reference snap and bookmark it literally is the same color just smaller in a different color scheme and this one is in green so same stickers um just some of them are a little less some are more so instead of four of those boob check stickers you have two let me show you guys so side by side so here's a snap and ruler same sort of deal this one is seven this one is five um same stickers uh, you have the same three call. You have two follow-ups here. S literally the same stickers. Okay, literally. Let me just put it side by side so you guys can see. Um, same stickers, just less on here. And again, the same two sheets. Um, same folder. Okay. Only difference is the color scheme, honestly. So you have personal information. Let me just see if I can do this. <laughs> why am i doing it this way who knows but it's the same planner just smaller in a different color scheme so you have the same um you know same stuff same stuff in the beginning so you have your how to use a planner your goals for the year actionable steps for the goals keeping balance um your year bucket list obviously you go into your months to your weeklies let me see if the weekly tips are the same they should be the same, but yeah, so the same weekly tips, map out your goals for the year. Let's go to April and see if that's the same as well. First week of April. Be grateful. Yeah, so the same setup completely. It is a little smaller, which I don't mind. Um, I don't think this one will be as decorative. I might definitely decorate the months, um, but even then the months are really small for my liking, which is why I did go and get the larger one. Um, but yeah, um, same sort of deal all the way. And the, the quotes are the same. So, August, you have Estee Lauder. Um, in August, you have Estee Lauder. So, literally the same entire setup, just smaller size with green instead of the, the kind of pinky color. Um, same resources in the back again. So, all the same things. I think the same six, two, four, six. Six, yes, yeah, six pages. The quote. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. So these are my four planners for the year. I have my desk monthly view, which I can just keep out on my desk, as well as this planner, which will be more in depth. This one is going to be the same as this, just easier for me to take out when I go. My church planner, of course. Um, then I also have a few more things. So I have my 2021 reading journal. I'm going to have to move this because it's not sticking to the cloth, which I didn't think that through. So I'm probably going to reprint another one out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reprint a different one. Let me see. I don't want to like mess up the foil. So, this is my 2021 reading journal. So, 
I have started already with my reading journal, um, with my goals. I just have to put my title page here. Um, I need to fill out this section, but I, I already started this back in December. So my goal for the year is to read 150 books. And out of that, out of these 150, I want 60 of these to be strictly Christian related books. Um, so, you know, I have some must reads for that. I need to fill out my nonfiction list. I need to fill out, um, this is a good reach choice for 2020 challenge. I'm going to be doing, um, series that I need to finish that I've started. <laughs> Uh, I want to complete a lot of series. This is for ARCs that I've received. I have a lot of ARCs that I actually need to fill out in here. Um, 2021 releases. So any releases that are upcoming, I will fill out in this. Let me move these out of the way. So um, there are definitely some releases that I need to pull out, put in here. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I'll probably use my highlighter to differentiate between my secular books and then my Christian books. But I have January to June and then July to December. This will be my title page for this month. I didn't do that because my printer was off, but it's back on. Um, so we have to definitely put like a pretty January cover page here. Um, I have to put my little calendars here. And the calendars that I do here, let me show you guys quickly. Where is my old reading journal? So I can show you guys what I'm at. So I'm getting my old, this is my old 2020 reading journal. Um, and both of these notebooks are dotted notebooks that came from Walmart. Of course, never fails. Um, so what I do is for the month, I make a title page. So like I print out something from online or write it, but I normally print out something and glue it in. Um, but these are the calendars that I need to put here. So it'd be like my physical reading calendar. And if I listen to an audio book, um, so today I haven't physically read, but I probably would just listen to an audiobook tonight um, to get some reading in. Then I have events and videos, which as you can see, none of this is finished. I need to work on it. Um, my book haul, any books that I get in the mail need to be on this list and they will be on this list. I actually bought two books today, but I don't think I'm going to include. Yeah, I'll include them. I bought two books in January, obviously today. So I'm going to include those two books here and any books that come in the mail will go there. Um, my TBR pal, I do have my TBR list already, my books for the month, um, so I need to write those here. And this is where like my wrap up would go, and my wrap up pretty much looks like this. So this month, what, what month was this? This was for November. So like I said, the calendars, events and videos um, I've done. So book haul would be like this. So like for the month of November, I had 26 books. I've actually had gotten more than 26, but I don't write down any nonfiction books that I buy or get. I only put down my fictional books. Um, then my TBR looks like this. I normally fill the whole list with TBR books, which are uh, a mix of like my Christian, obviously, books and then my non-Christian books. Um, and then this was for some challenges that I did, but my wrap up normally just looks like this. I would write the title. If it's a part of a series, I would put the series in parentheses. I'll write the author, the type. So if it was an ebook, audiobook, or paperback, hardcover. Um, the age bracket, I would only put if it's like a children's middle grade or a YA. I'll put the subgenre, the date that I started it and finished it, and then my rating. That way it's easier for me to come to. And I like just keeping track of that. Um, I also have a second part to this journal um, in which I have this notebook that I use from In Touch Ministries. I know it's weird. I'm using my In Touch Ministries notebook to um, write down all of my reading notes for reviews. So when I go to do a reading review, I have my notes here and I have quite a few notes to write for review so these two will be going hand in hand but um we have that and obviously my faith journal of course will be used um i'll do a video on my faith journal probably next week um but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i'm actually going to get into some planning while i watch some youtube tonight and um yeah i'm gonna sip on my coffee i don't know when you guys will see this video honestly so i don't even want to mention anything but Maybe my January TBR is up. If it is, click the I. Maybe my December book haul is up. If it is, click the I. But um, that is pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.